Let's look at this one. Calculate the heat and work involved when half a mole of liquid water is heated under a constant one atmosphere pressure from 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. What's our Q? Remember? It's the number of moles times delta H vaporization per mole, right? Oh, no, this is not, we're not vaporizing, I'm sorry. We're just heating water. What's the formula for Q? Mass times specific heat times delta T. What's the mass of water here? 0 0.500 mole. How do you change that to grams? Eighteen point oh two grams per mole. Mole cancels out. Specific heat of water is four point one eight joules per Kelvin per gram. What's our delta T? <laughs> from 10 to 30, so positive 20. Let's make this uh, three sig figs there. One should be 20.0 degrees Celsius, so positive 20.0 Kelvin. So what's that Q equal to? 753 joules. All right. How about the work involved here? Work is minus V external times V final minus V initial. What's our external pressure? One atmosphere. What's our V final and what's our V initial? You're given the density, how do you get volume from density? Density is mass over volume, right? So volume is mass over density, right? So volume final is the mass of the water divided by the final density. Minus initial volume is the mass divided by the initial density. What's the final density? That's the density. This is at 30 degrees, right? The initial density is the density at 10 degrees Celsius. So let's factor out our mass. So that's going to be minus minus 1.00 atmosphere. What's the mass of our water? Half of 18, right? This is the mass of water. So that's 9.01. 1 over, what's our density? At 30 degrees. 0 0.99970. Oh, I'm sorry, 99565. Grams per mil. What's the density at 30, at 10 degrees? 99970. Grams per mil. So grams are going to cancel out. And so you have your answer in males there. What would this be? Minus 1.00 atmosphere times 9.01 times. This, uh, this whole thing is going to be in males. That's 1 over 0.99565 minus 1 over 0.99970. Calculator. Parenthesis, 1 divided by 
0.99565 close parenthesis minus open parenthesis 1 divided by 0 0.99970 close parenthesis equals so that is 0 0.004689 milliliters okay it's a very small change in volume zero zero four zero six eight nine milliliters so you multiply that by 9.01 times one atmosphere that gives you 0 0.0366 or so 0 0.0367 negative point zero three six seven liter times milliliter atmosphere okay milliliter times atmosphere so that gives you negative point zero three six seven times ten to the negative three liters times atmosphere and let's change that to joules That's a liter, what's a liter atmosphere? 101.325 joules. So what would that be? 0 0.0367 times 10 to the negative third, so times 0 0.001 times 101.325 joules. That gives you 0 0.00371. joules okay so what happened there that's a negative work why negative that means the water did it expand or contract negative work means expansion right so does that make sense did water expand from 10 to 30 degrees did it become more dense or less dense becomes less dense so when something becomes less dense that means density is mass over volume right when something becomes less dense that means the volume has increased mass doesn't change right so when something becomes less dense its volume has increased so the volume increases water expands from 10 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius so you have a negative work compare that work though to the amount of heat Heat flow, in this case, is 753 joules. How much energy did it lose because of expansion? 0 0.0037 joules. Compare that to 700 joules, 750 joules. So for practical purposes, we can just ignore that, right? Just the, in terms of the total amount of energy that's involved when water is heated from 10 degrees to 30 degrees. 